Restoring the original New Testament. Can we trust the New Testament books we have today? The state of the art of New Testament textual criticism. The Challenge of Defective Manuscripts There are 27 books in the New Testament, each of which began as a separate manuscript composed in Greek on papyrus paper. Each of these books was copied hundreds, perhaps thousands of times, its copies being carried to other cities. Every time one or more scribes copied or corrected a manuscript, they would introduce small changes of various kinds. Some would spell a word wrongly or differently, fail to copy a word or phrase, harmonize parts of the four Gospels, improve the grammar or style of a sentence, or modify syntax or word order. From about the 3rd century, some scribes incorporated into some copies short non-biblical stories or sayings which got transmitted in new copies. While scribes sometimes sought to improve a New Testament manuscript, there is no evidence of their having intentionally removed text. The challenge for scholars, by examining thousands of ancient manuscripts, remains one of identifying all their textual variants, then to choose which of those seem to be the earliest, and finally, to reconstruct as far as possible the original text of each of the 27 books of the New Testament. In order to do so, they must learn the history of the New Testament manuscripts and the probable genealogy of groups of manuscripts that have a common ancestor. The History of New Testament Manuscripts All of the 27 New Testament books were composed in Greek between the years 40 and 90 of the 1st century CE, some in Judea, some in Syria, and others in Asia Minor. In the 2nd and 3rd centuries, hundreds of copies were made and circulated in major centers of the Roman Empire, especially in Asia Minor, Egypt, Syria, Italy, and North Africa. The New Testament books were also translated from Greek into regional languages and local dialects, including Coptic, Latin, and Syriac, of which hundreds of manuscripts still exist. Between the 4th and 15th centuries, copies continued to be made in Greek and other languages. In the East, translations appeared in Armenian, Georgian, Ethiopic, Arabic, and Nubian, and in the West, in Gothic, Slavonic, Anglo-Saxon, and major European languages, of which hundreds of manuscripts still exist. In the 16th century, following the invention of the printing press, the printed editions of the Greek New Testament began to appear. Soon thereafter, Bible translations began to be made from Greek instead of from Latin. The Four Great Text Types A comparison of Greek manuscripts and of their translations made over their 1,500 years of hand-copying, leaves about 2% of the New Testament text in question. Biblical text critics currently sort the existing manuscripts into four families or recensions according to the nature of their variant readings. The Alexandrian type Named for the city of Alexandria, Egypt, Variants of manuscripts and fragments in this class are characterized by their brevity and austerity. 
The oldest Greek manuscripts belong to this class, as do most Coptic translations. The Western Type Mostly from Italy, Gaul, and North Africa, variants of manuscripts and fragments in this class are characterized by their tendency to paraphrase, to harmonize the Gospels, and to include apocryphal material. Many variant readings are very old and are included in Old Latin versions. The Eastern Type Manuscripts and fragments that show a mixture of Alexandrian and Western readings are included here, along with Old Syriac, Armenian, and Georgian versions. The Byzantine type. Most later manuscripts belong to this type, which originated in Syria, and are characterized by their lucidity, completeness, smooth language, harmonization of similar passages, and expansion. Although these manuscripts remain the least helpful in determining the original New Testament, they became the most prevalent from the 7th century onwards, forming the basis of most translations until the 20th century. The Practice of Restoring the New Testament Books it is neither the age of manuscripts nor their number that decides which variant reading must be the original or the most ancient, nor is it a reading's length or quality of its Greek. The best variant reading would probably prove to be the one that best explains the origin of the others, that proves consistent with the author's own teaching, and that is attested by existing manuscripts. In restoring a New Testament book, text critics must weigh separately the evidence for each of its variant readings, a process that takes an enormous amount of time and thoughtful discussion. In doing so, informed critics must consider both external and internal criteria. External Criteria Critics must ask questions such as these. Which manuscripts and fragments are sufficiently old not to have suffered many changes made by scribes? Which variant readings have a wide geographical distribution? And which manuscripts and fragments were copied from which others? Internal Criteria which variant readings show a kind of change that scribes would make? Which variant reading proves most consistent with what the author has written elsewhere? And which variant reading seem to have been influenced by a Christian community later than the apostolic age? A difficult example, John 18.5 most Western manuscripts read, Jesus, knowing all that would happen to him, came forward and said to them, Whom do you seek? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. He said to them, I am he. Most Alexandrian manuscripts read, Jesus, knowing all that would happen to him, came forward and said to them, Whom do you seek? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. Jesus said to them, I am he. A few manuscripts read, Jesus, knowing all that would happen to him, came forward and said to them, Whom do you seek? They answered him, Jesus of Nazareth. He said to them, I am Jesus. If Jesus said, I am, then he was declaring himself to be deity, for God alone may declare in Greek, Ego e me, I am. None of the editors of the most recent versions of the Greek New Testament claim to have restored the text with absolute certainty. Nevertheless, current versions and translations made from them have restored the original New Testament books with some 99% certainty. 
Less accurate versions of the Greek New Testament include the so-called received text of the 16th century, versions based solely on one of the four text types, and any version compiled by a sole individual. So, go ahead, obtain an ancient or modern translation of the New Testament, read it, and believe its promises. Their textual differences remain few and prove inconsequential.